there's a couple of things happening now in Arlington. If, if, if you could speak to that, right? Like there's a CRA in Ar- Can you explain what the CRA is and kind of what's going on over there? Yeah. So, so Arlington in 2015 created a CRA. So CRA is community reinvestment area. It's a defined, it's an area of defined boundaries that part, a portion of your property taxes goes back into investing in that area. So the idea is as more development happens, it creates more revenue that can then subsidize additional projects. And the idea is to get a commercial corridor back in Arlington. So Arlington was was the neighborhood in the 50s because they built a bridge from downtown when downtown was, was thriving. And so Arlington, you know, just blew up in the 50s and then, you know, has has been, it's still an amazing residential neighborhood. Honestly, we we don't invest as much there anymore as we used to because home prices have gone up so much. We're, we, we've been, been, you know, investing in certain pockets in Arlington now, not the whole Arlington as a whole, but commercially it's been, it's been lagging the rest of Jacksonville. And the idea of the CRA is to get the commercial going. And obviously if you've got commercial and restaurants and, and, you know, shops that helps out residential around there tremendously. So we bought um, a 20 acre shopping mall right at the corner of the Arlington Expressway and University Boulevard that has, it was identified in the CRA as a catalytic site. And we're doing a a mixed use project there. We're going to add about 80 residential units. We're going to, we're bringing a grocer back to the, to the center. We're going to put a brand new facade on the 180,000 square foot shopping center. We're going to do an outdoor food court built out of shipping containers. So we're doing this amazing project there that is really going to help give a boost to that CRA and to the neighborhood. And something else that's happening is in Jacksonville, it kind of folds into what's happening in Arlington and that CRA is that the city is now voting on a gas tax. And we're going to raise the gas tax six cents that will, it will generate about a billion dollars in revenue over the next, I believe, 20 years. And we can take that, that money and invest it in infrastructure projects. And one of the projects that is slated to happen is to do a complete streets development on University Boulevard in Arlington, right in front of our, our college park development. So in a complete streets development, for those who don't know, is basically where you take a road that's a lot of big wide lanes and you increase the width of the sidewalks, you add bike lanes, you add landscaping, you underground the electric, and it, it completes the street. Now it's, it's not just for cars zipping going by, you add a pedestrian element, you add a bike element, and that's why they call it a complete street. And it's been proven to, you know, it's it not only does it increase mobility and safety, it's an economic development driver that will increase property values and incentivize some developers to put money into those areas when you get those projects done. So that's a great thing for Arlington. You know, we, we've talked to a lot of stakeholders in Arlington and undergrounding the electric, getting complete streets project in university, and then getting more restaurants, places to eat has been a big push of everyone in Arlington. And so that our development there is, is going to do that. So something that we're, we're really excited about in addition. And, and there's, a, you know, there's a lot of other projects happening in that CRA now. So we were, we were the first project to go through. But last, last week, the city actually approved our incentives for our College Park project. And there was another project that was going through for the Arlington CRA, the facade grants. What they're doing is the city is requiring as part of the CRA to upgrade your facade. So basically a, an increased standard for the attractiveness of the properties along University Boulevard. And there was another project that was going through. The city is paying for the upgrades to your own property. And then applicants, owners of property have to go in and apply. So we're going to start seeing those coming through, which will, you know, definitely increase the attractiveness of that University Boulevard corridor and be a big help for Arlington. Um, and this, now Arlington is a JWB neighborhood. A ton of our clients have properties there. We are selling, we're selling a lot of properties um, in Arlington right now. Um, in the south section of Arlington, and and so this is this is even more direct for why we're doing this project than downtown. Downtown is a five, 10, 20 year impact. The College Park project for a lot of Arlington is even going to be a faster impact. Alex, it's awesome when you get passionate about a subject, you you become <laughs> like a combination of like the micro machines man and like the most happy go lucky individual. And that am I, ta- am I talking a little bit fast? Yeah, a little bit there. I mean, you just threw out like CRA, tax incentives, gas tax, like all that. And I want to I want to talk a little bit about all of that because I know how impactful <laughs> that is. But let's just talk about what's happening here, right? If if you're an investor and you're wondering, you know, where is my dollars? Where are my dollars going to be best spent over the next full market cycle? It should not be a surprise to you that a vertically integrated company is one that you should follow their path, right? Wherever they're investing, especially if they've been around for 15 years like JWB has, they're putting their own money into it, right? If you want to see what areas are poised for growth, 
you probably want to follow their path. You all get to leverage Alex's entire role within the company and what we've been doing for 15 years in an example like the Arlington neighborhood. And the gas tax is going to affect all four of our neighborhoods. So it's not just Arlington. But this is a really cool example where JWB has been buying and selling properties in Arlington for 15 years now. It is one of our core four neighborhoods. We invested there without the opportunistic view of raising values, right? We believe that neighborhood stands on its own two feet for the positive cash flow and the returns without sort of gains in the community that Alex is potentially talking about here. But we see a huge opportunity because of what is presented as far as this catalytic product or project called College Park, which is really right on the main thoroughfare from downtown. And we rearranged all of our capital to be able to invest there. We, had, we, we understand what the CRA has or how that has been created and what that can bring there. And so for those folks who are kind of wondering, like, what's the value of working with somebody who is so ingrained in a market? Why is there more value there than potentially me working in my own backyard? This is a great example of how you can leverage somebody else's skills, experience, resources to be able to increase the value for yourself, again, over a full market cycle. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the, the, the gas tax, if we could, the Arlington projects and the, is it the complete streets project? Is that, that's, is that one example of what the gas tax would go to, or is that coming from the Arlington CRA? So the complete streets project is a gas tax project. Yes. Sir. So okay. it, you know, it, yeah. So it, it's a project that is in, it's in the list that JTA will do with the proceeds from the gas tax. It's too expensive a project to be handled with the, the funds from the CRA. So it was something that was, the CRA wanted to get done, but it's, we're gonna, they're, JTA is proposing to use gas tax money to fund that. I mean, the gas tax is gonna be huge for infrastructure in Jacksonville. Can you talk about maybe some of the other projects that are kind of earmarked or are highlighted as potentially being projects that come from this gas tax? I mean, there, there's a list. I mean, I think it's on J, JTA's website, actually. There's, so there's a list of projects for, you know, infrastructure, streets, bike paths, those sort of things that, that's very long. The city is going to get about half the money and the city is going to use it to do projects downtown. They're going to get, they're going to do septic tank removal, which is going to benefit a lot, a lot of JW's neighborhoods. And then the, the big thing that JTA is working on is the Skyway and the, the U2C. So right now downtown, there's a the Skyway, which has, it has eight stops. It's, it's a downtown people mover. And the system was never finished out to expand into the neighborhoods around it. So it has lim limited use because it doesn't go into a lot of the neighborhoods around downtown. So the idea is to, to transform this to, to automated vehicles, self-driving vehicles, and then extend it into the neighborhoods around downtown. So that the JTA is going to use a significant amount of their money to do that. Also, there's some some there's a push to get the Amtrak station, which is currently a little bit further up on the north side, to downtown, which I think is critical to getting rail here long term. You know, Brightline, which is a high speed rail, it's currently working on Miami to Orlando, Tampa to Orlando, and then Jacksonville should be the next leg in the next ten ish years. I and mean, so, getting that that the train station back downtown is going to be really important to that. With the gas tax, is that there there doesn't have to be a vote for that to be implemented, right? Or does there? City council will have to vote council. on it. So okay. it, doesn't, it doesn't have to go to the state or anything like that, but it's a, it's a city council vote. And you know, there's, there's a lot of people that are working on that to make sure that the message is crafted right and make sure all the projects are right so that it gets passed. Has the gas tax already been in place and then we're just increasing the amount of the gas tax? Yep. Yeah. So the state, the state of Florida authorized uh, up to 12 cents in gas tax, and we only have six here. So we'd be mm -hmm. adding six cents. And most of the surrounding counties already have six cents. I'm pretty sure St. John's and Clay already have, oh, sorry, they already have 12 cents. I and mean, I think Nassau has, has either six or nine. So we're getting, we're getting kind of caught up to the neighboring counties. I just found a good article about this. I'm going to post this in the Facebook groups. If you guys would like to read a little bit more about the gas tax and what it would be affecting, I'll make sure I post that here pretty soon. Yeah. If, you got a if you're not a member of the group yet, go to jwbfacebookgroup.com and you can become a member.